What is up guys, Level Up here, and today we're going to be going over how to actually create your character and how to get your hero and all of that made. So first what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the database, which is up here. Uh, by clicking on this gear icon, you can see the actors, classes, skills, items, blah, 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 blah. There is so much to go over and I won't be going over all of that today. The main thing we're going to focus on is like anything really to do with the character. So actors, classes, skills, items, weapons, probably won't go into items, but weapons and armors mainly. But we'll start off with actors. So over here, you've got a list of all the different actors you have. So I'm gonna change the maximum. I'm gonna change that to five. And one quick thing I'm gonna do is, because I don't want all of these characters in there as well, I'm gonna go to system. And where it says starting party, I'm just gonna delete all those actors. And I'm going to click actor number five. And back in actors, I'll click, I'll, I'll type his name, which will be Levella. 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 Levi. We'll call him Levi. All right, but we sort of only really have the stock assets to work with. So I'm going to show you, after that gets out of the way, I'm going to show, God, it's over all of it, isn't it? God. Now, I'm going to show you how to create your own character. So, over here, you've got the gear icon. If you go over, if you right next to the test button, you have the character generator. And this is where you have a bunch of different options to be able to change what your character looks like. So, you're given a face sprite, you're given a um, walking sprite, and you're given battle animations for the side view battle system. Um, so what you can do is you can choose the different face shapes, um, you can choose to have ears, there's a whole bunch of lovely stuff you can do with this, so I'm just going to time lapse through this as I create the character. Alright, there you go. As you can see, we've created our character and every time we've changed things, so new clothing's come on, new facial features have come on, the hair's changed, he's got a few accessories like a bandana around his neck, all that jazz. So now what we want to do is we want to save it all, so I'm going to start off with the with everything but the face, because we're going to do something special with the face. So for warp character, it's going to, you click on walk character and it'll give you this sheet right here. So I'm going to export this and it will automatically redirect you to your games image characters folder. So I'm just going to call this um, main characters and then that's all we need to do there. The damage character, I'm just going to do the same thing. MC damaged then for the battler, we're going to save that as Levi. And that say all automatically goes into your tutorial, sorry, your game folder, image SV actors, which means side view actors. So I'm going to save this one as Levi. So now with the faces, you'll notice we get, we can place this anywhere on a grid of eight. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to change his facial expression. So I'll put this here and I'll export it as Levi, and then I'll get out of that. Then what I'm going to do is go back over to his mouth, and I'll make it turn upside down. I'll change his eyebrows to be frowning, and there he looks a bit pouty. So we're going to go back to face image, we're going to import Levi, and as you can see, we can place this second face on top of the image we already have. So if you want, you can put it there, but what I'm going to do is just put it next to it. We're going to export that again, save it as Levi. It'll ask if we want to replace the folder, and yes, we do. Not the folder, the file. And then we're just going to keep doing that. So we're going to add a sad face, a laughing face, all that sort of stuff. I'm going to time lapse through that because that is all stuff you should very easily be able to figure out. Um, and I'll show you what it looks like at the end.
Alright, there as you can see we have a bunch of different faces for Levi, our main character. So I'm just going to close out of all of this after I've exported it, save it all. If you want, you can also save the settings. So I'll just save this as Levi. And then you can open up this character generator with all of that still attached uh, in its rightful place if you want to edit it in the future. So now we're going to go back over to our database settings, click on Levi, Levi and then we can get it all going. So we can select his face up here. So we'll just select any one of these. I'll choose this one because it's all serious looking. We're going to choose the character, which uh, these files also automatically redirect um, to where it's supposed to be. So selecting a character, it'll automatically select from the image uh, characters folder within your game folder. So I've got main characters, I'll double click on Levi there. Now for side view battler, again, it's going to go straight to the side view battler um, export and then we can click on Levi over here. So now we've got Levi, our character. So also here we've got class and there's four different classes at the moment. Hero, Warrior, Mage, Priest. We're going to add a new class. So we'll go over to classes. Then we're going to change the maximum to 5. And we'll call this one Engineer. Right, so we'll double check that's all saved. So yep, yeah, we've got the Hero, the Warrior, the Mage, the Priest and the Engineer. Now you can change the different experience curves for uh, how, how you want the game, how you want your character to progress with experience. Um, so acceleration A, uh, extra value, acceleration B. You can change all of these sorts of curves. Or, uh, so yeah, that's the experience curve. You can also do this one. So now you've also got a parameter curve. So you can actually change the different stats that are relevant with your class. So he's going to be an, an engineer, so it'll be more of a technical skill. So we'll say that he's actually going to have a lower sort of, um, a lower sort of curve with HP. So you can do quick settings, so A, B, C, D, E, or you can draw your own settings in. So you can generate a curve like that. Fast, slow, be however you want it. So we're just going to go with D. Uh, for max MP, we won't say. We'll say he has a bit more MP. So that grows a lot faster. With a higher value at the very. And then we'll go through and change the rest of these. I'm just going to be doing quick select for a bunch of these. And there we have it. We've got all our parameter curves set. So this is how much HP the character will have. At level 1, he'll have 300 HP. Level 2, he'll have 358. Level 3, he'll have 414. So on and so forth. Next, you've got a list of skills that the character can learn. We won't go over traits yet because that's a bit more of an advanced thing. You've got a list of skills for the character, the classes to learn. So what we'll do now is we'll go over to the skills menu and you can see all these skills that have already been made. I won't go creating a new skill just yet. What I will do is I'll make another tutorial later on because that's a whole tutorial in itself. So I'll go back over to classes and at level one, the engineer will learn Spark. There we go. So at level one, the engineer learns Spark. Come back over to actors. Uh, and we will change his class from hero to engineer. Now, down the bottom you have what weapon that the player starts with. We'll go back over to classes, and right here where it says equip weapon sword, over in the traits, it's the only thing we're going to do from the traits, we're going to control C that, go over to the engineer and control V. So you can equip general armor and swords. Now we can go back over to the actors, double click on weapon, and you can click the sword. 
uh, to be selected, you can click hat, you can just change all of the armors in here. And these are all the items that he's going to start with. Uh, just note that, and I said I will go over this in the future, whatever weapon type you have here, uh, this is all that the class will be able to equip. As I said, I'll go over all of these in a later tutorial. So now, that's it. We have our new character. So you can see him here on the map. The reason he's appearing is because before we did go over the system and change our party to only have Levi in it. So now let's go in and run around with Levi. There you go, you see Levi walking around. If you click on the menu, there's Levi's face. If you won't see Levi's battle animation yet, we'll go over that in the next tutorial. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you found this tutorial helpful if you're just starting out in RPG Maker MV. Don't forget to click see more in the description so you can get links to my social medias and all the other lovely stuff. If you like my content, then please like, comment, subscribe. And if you want to know anything, just leave a comment in the dis uh, comment section and I'll try and make a tutorial video explaining what it is you'd like to know. Thank you guys for watching and great game making.